Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to use the new QuickBooks Online Invoice. Interestingly enough, the invoice is not available in my sample QuickBooks, but it is available in my real QuickBooks. To get here, all I did was click on plus new in the upper left hand corner, and then I selected invoice. To spare my editor from blurring out the names of my clients, I went straight into the client called sample customer. This invoice is going to look different than what you're used to, so I just thought I'd walk through what you see on your screen. Across the top, you have edit. That's where you can modify your invoice. You have email, PDF, and payer view. It just gives you a different way to look at the invoice. We'll look at those once we have something to look at. So we have our, our client, sample customer, invoice number. It's due upon receipt. We'll make it today's date. Custom fields, I was probably screwing around with something, but I'm not actually using those, so we're gonna skip them. The tags, I don't use tags, and they're not gonna display on the invoice, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that. We can pick the service date, and we'll just say it's today's date. For the products and services, we're just gonna select bookkeeping service. I don't have a default description set up, but if you wanted one, you certainly could add one in the products and services. So we'll just say super cool description, and then one, and we'll make it $100. We're, we're feeling nice today. As I scoot down, you can see the customer payment options. That used to be in the top center. So what I can do is I can click on edit and just say, here are the things that I allow my clients to pay via or with. I'm gonna turn off PayPal, for example, because I don't want that on. I do not turn on tips. I personally think it's tacky if the bookkeeper is asking you for a tip, um, each to their own. Down below, you have the option for invoice total. Yes, I want that. Deposit, no, I do not, because it just goes into, it does a weird thing in QuickBooks. I've got other videos for that. There are no discounts from a make-believe client. There is no shipping from a make-believe client. I have multi-currency turned on, so I have the ability to edit my exchange rate. I can click on design and I can change my design. So currently it's a standard as opposed to a modern. Uh, I was going to say if I switch it to modern, you can see, but you can't. Okay, let me leave it at standard. We'll come back to this in a second. Do I want to add a payment link to the PDF? Sure. I want my payment link everywhere possible so my make-believe client will pay. I'll go down to automation. I don't have invoice reminders set up, but you certainly can turn them on if you need to. I'm just going to click on save. So let's come here. I just want to go to the PDF view. Oh, it says unavailable. Okay, print and download. We're doing this. Okay, this is my very boring modern template. So let's go back. Let's go to edit. Scroll down. Where did it go? I'm going to click on manage in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go to my design. I'm going to change it from standard to modern. For the color, I'm going to pick this kind of green color because I think it's more fun. And then I'll click save. Now PDF view. So this is what the modern view looks like. And this is what the standard view looks like. I kind of like the modern view. So that's it. Pretty, pretty simple. It looks a little different. It behaves a little different. You have to go to this manage in the upper right hand corner if you want to make changes. But otherwise, the rest of it should feel pretty familiar. In the lower right hand corner in the gray bar, you have save, save and new or save and close. When I click on the green in the lower right hand corner, what you're most likely to use is going to be the drop down and then choosing review and send. When I click on review and send, it's going to say, all right, cool. It looks like you want to send this invoice to someone via email so they can pay it. Well, I don't because it's a sample customer, but if I did, that's what I would do. So let me close out of this. I'll just see if there's anything else that I can show you. So edit, we know what that is. Email, this just shows you what your client's going to see when you email it to them. PDF, we've looked at that. And then payer view. 
This is what it looks like for your client when they click on the I want to pay button. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. If I can't load something up with my sample QuickBooks and I can with my own QuickBooks, I'm more than happy to load it up, blur out the confidential stuff, and then make the video so things make sense for you. Thank you so much and have a great day.